Hello there and welcome back. Hope you've had a great week. My name is Tony and this is Boat McGrill. Just go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden, baby, we're golden. If you are a boat owner and thinking about doing your ever first overhaul or restoration of your boat or just interested in boat related stuff, and want to learn more and get inspiration, start out with hitting the subscribe button down here on the right and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. This YouTube channel is about the long-term commitment and restoration of the ever first built Albin 30 cabin cruiser. It was bought in a pretty sad condition and over the next couple of years it will be restored to its former glory. McGrill will during this restoration get a lot of upgrades like radar, hydraulic steering, autopilot, bow thruster, a new electrical system and lots more. If you want to see all this, check out Boat McGrill and join the crew. Give us a thumbs up if you like the content and please drop a comment down below. Today it's time for looking after the fiberglass roof, see how it's uh, uh, been doing. I know it has cured pretty well, it's almost a week since we did the uh, fiberglassing. So let's move over there and see how it's doing today. So this is the tent, we're going to remove it today and we are going to remove the peel ply and after that it's time to uh, start grinding a bit and we have some more repairs. As you all can see right here, we get a damaged part over here that we kind of have to take care of. If you're actually looking down here, you see that it's much tighter to the to the fiberglass. But as further up you come, you see more and more you see more and more of a gap between the core material and the fiberglass. So that has to be taken care of.
here is the more or less final result before the sanding. There's some voids that will have to be uh, fared, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. back in my workshop again and uh, left off yesterday with fairing the edges of the part that we did uh, lay the fiberglass in. Uh, one issue that I had that I did send out a little video about yesterday on Facebook and Instagram. If you aren't a follower on my Instagram and uh, Facebook, Twitter and so on, uh, please do. It's now and then I'm putting up stuff there that doesn't go on the YouTube channel. What I asked people was that, do you have any idea how to fix a crack like this? I have a crack over here in the roof, as I showed you. Uh, it has to be fixed. It's a 5-10 centimeter long crack. Uh, the idea people had was uh, take out part of the wood and then fiberglass from the inside. Uh, and I actually think I'm going to do that. Can I fan out a piece of, that, of this wood? Uh, I guess I'm going to be able to come far enough down with the blades I have to the fane uh, without destroying or damaging the fiberglass. We remove a piece and see, I think we should remove maybe 10-15 centimeters or something like that, just enough to be able to, to sand out on the inside and then of course uh, put some fiberglass on the inside uh, while we're pushing this all together.
uh, took out this piece of wood and uh, of course it looks fine down in here as you can see right here the damage is going about down here and up so I'm actually gonna hand sanding this out and use the uh, see how much how far down I can get and put, put a couple of layers of new glass in here what I could do then is actually just sand down this piece of wood so it does it so, so it fits in there again it's kind of dry uh, the wood is uh, still not rotten or anything like that so I think I will be able to reuse it so first off we're gonna have to sand this part over here Uh, I will also grind out the bevel over here uh, along the crack from this side uh, with a sanding machine and then I will um, push them all together like that put a tape on something on the outside and then uh, start fiberglassing on the inside So I set up a double-sided piece of tape. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put down a couple of thin strips of fiberglass like that, something like, probably something like this. Overlapping each other a little bit. And uh, after I put in the core material, uh, I will and, and fiberglass the inside of the roof. I will turn it all upside down and then I will take care of the outside of this. Let's mix up some epoxy.
I'm going to put put in some peel ply in here too. Uh, I was kind of plentiful with uh, epoxy, so. So folks, this was all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will join next week when we keep on the work with the radar stand. Until then, don't forget to hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so you don't miss out on anything of the content that's coming up. And be safe, take care and bye!